To everybody out there, man. Hope everybody having a blessed, safe day today, man. All that good stuff. It's your boy Amad. Back to y'all with another album reaction, man. Eminem, real name Marshall Mathers. If y'all haven't checked out my Marshall Mathers LP review, it's going to be in the description. Make sure y'all go watch that before you watch this. Well, watch this then. Go check that out right after this. So we got Slim Shady LP, Eminem. Heard a lot about this project. I was supposed to review this one first, but I had to review Marshall Mathers LP. I'm glad I did because I heard so much people talk about that project and this project, but more so that project. That album was amazing, but this one right before it. And I thought this was his debut project, but he actually had an album before this, which his debut is called Infinite. I can review that if y'all want me to. Like Y'all was telling me about that project, but we're going to focus on this, man. Eminem, Slim Shady LP. We got 20 tracks on this album. We got features. Just from Royce to Five Now, we don't really got too many rapper features on there, so it's really gonna be Eminem heavily evolved on this project. So, hope y'all enjoyed this. Like, subscribe if y'all new. Eminem, Slim Shady LP, let's get it. Oh, we got the first track on the album, Public Service Announcement. That's just like how it was on the Marshall Mathers LP and when the high started out on that album. So, first track, let's get it. This is a public service announcement brought to you in part by Slim Shady. The views and events expressed here are yeah, totally this is just like that and are not necessarily the views of anyone. However, the events and suggestions that appear on this album are not laces in their shoes. Slim Shady <laughs> is not responsible for your actions. Upon purchasing this album, you have agreed not to try this at home. Hell no. A anything else? Yeah. Don't do drugs. <laughs> My name is... My name is... Track name number is two. Is My name is... You a basic. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Why's your face red? Man, you wasted. Well, since age 12, I felt like I'm someone else. Cause I hung my original self from the top bunk with a bell. Uh -huh. Got pissed off and ripped Pamela Lee's tips off. And smacked her so hard, I knocked her clothes back with like Chris Paul. I smoked a fat pound like of grass Chris and fall on my ass faster than a fat bitch who sat down to the world off. Hi, my name is. What? My name is. My name is. Next semester, I'll be 35. Uh. I smacked him in his face with an eraser. Chased him with a stapler. Stapled his nuts to a stack of paper. Walked in the strip club. Had Save my jacket zipped up. Flashed the bartender. And stuck my dick in a tip cup. Uh. Extraterrestrial. Running over pedestrians in a spaceship while they're screaming at me. Let's just be free. 99% uh. of my life, I was lied to. I just found out my mom does more dope than I do. Damn. I told her I'd grow up to be a famous rapper. Make a record about doing drugs and name it after. When the women rush your stands to try to touch your hands like some screaming usher fans. This guy white. My name is. My name is. Hey, this song is a classic. I can barely decide. I just drank a fifth of vodka. Dare me to drive? Go ahead. All my life Dare I was very drive. deprived. I ain't had a woman in years. And my palms are too hairy to hide. Uh. Clothes rip like the Incredible Hulk. I spit when I talk. <laughs> I'm breastfeeding, when? mom. You ain't got when? no teeth. <laughs> I lay awake and strap myself in the bed. Put a bulletproof oh, no. vest on and shoot myself in the head. Uh. Bang, steaming mad. Uh. And by the way, when you see my dad, yeah, tell him that I slit his throat in his dream I had. Uh. My name is. Dude, 
heard a story about that song. And by the way, that wasn't my first time hearing this song, bro. Everybody heard My Name Is, bro. That was the song that really put Eminem on. But I heard a story about this song. I don't know how true it is. When he met Dr. Dre, when uh, Dr. Dre found Eminem Detroit, y'all know the story and whatnot, uh, the Rap Olympics, I heard about that. When they first met up, this is the first song that they recorded together, which is mind-blowing. Like, the first song y'all worked together on, it's a hit. That's crazy. It's just a classic. Songs like this is like forever. You can play this in the year 3000. They gonna play this song. Timeless, man. Timeless. I we got track number three, Guilty Conscience, featuring Dr. Dre. Oh, yeah, we do got Dr. Dre on this album, too. He decides to rob a liquor store, but on his way like in, he okay. has a sudden change of heart, and suddenly, his conscience comes into play. All right, stop. Now, before you walk in the door of this liquor store and try to get money out the drawer, you better think of the consequence. Who are you? I'm your motherfucking conscience. That's nonsense. Go in, gap on the money, and run to one of your aunt's cribs and borrow a damn dress to one of a brown wig. Ah. Telling you need a place to stay. You'll be safe for days if you shave your legs with Renee's razor blades. Yeah, but if it. See, bro, when he rhyme like that. That shit is crazy. Day to day, say nigga, grenade, razor blades like that. That's crazy when he be rapping like that. Place to stay, you'll be safe for days if you hey, shave your legs with grenades, razor blades. That's, yeah, that's that shit is crazy. Goes through like it's supposed to. The whole neighborhood knows you and they'll expose you. Think about it before you walk in the door first. Look at the store. Do that shit. Shoot that bitch. Can you afford to blow this shit? I do that rich. Why you give a fuck if she dies? Are you that bitch? Uh -huh. you really think she gets the fuck if you have kids? Man, don't do it. It's not worth it to risk it. Not over this shit. Stop. Drop the biscuit. Don't even listen to Slim, yo. It's bad for you. You know what, Dre? I don't like your attitude. I don't like your attitude. Just coming in for a minute. They like at a party or something. After meeting a young girl at a rave party, Things mm -hmm. start getting hot and heavy in an upstairs bedroom. <laughs> Once again, Get hot his heavy. conscience comes into play. Uh. Now listen to me. While you're kissing her cheek and smearing her lipstick, I slip this in a dream. Now all you gotta do is nibble on this little bitch's earlobe. <laughs> Yo, this girl's only 15 years old. You shouldn't take Whoa. advantage of her. Oh, no, I don't know why. I don't know why I laughed at that, bro. Yeah, I ain't know that she was 15. Nah, no, I just it took a turn. Now nah, that's crazy. Oh, you shouldn't take advantage of I her. I can't it's laugh no more. Yo, look at her bush. Does it got hair? Uh -huh. Fuck this bitch right here on the spot bare. Till she passes out. She forgot how she got there. Man, the ain't you ever seen that one movie, kids? No, but I seen the porno with son Nubian. Shit, uh -huh. you wanna get hard off the jail? Man, fuck that. Hit that shit raw dog and bear. I said hit that shit raw dog and bear. <laughs> Meet Grady, a 29-year-old construction worker. After coming home from a hard day's work, he walks in the door of his trailer park home to find his wife in bed with another man. <laughs> oh, Alright, calm down, relax, and start breathing. Fuck that shit, you just bought this bitch cheating. Ah. You ain't work, she's with some dude trying to get off. Fuck slit in her throat, cut this bitch's head off. Wait, what if there's an explanation for this shit? Dr. Dre trying to reason why that shit happened. What the fuck? Hey, Eminem right on this situation. Now, the other two situations, I don't agree with him. But this one, like, what the fuck? I come home from a hard day's work to find my girl, my wife or whatnot, cheating with another man and laying in my bed that we lay on. Oh, man, you got to kill him. You got to kill him. But think about the baby before you get all crazy. Uh, okay, thought about it. Still want to stab her? Grab her by the throat? Get the daughter and kidnap her? That's what God. I did. Them said, ain't you Dr. Dre, Mr. AK, straight out of Compton, y'all, but y'all know what I'm saying? I like that, bro. That song, I heard that somewhere. I don't know where I heard that song from, but I definitely heard some of that song before. That was dope, man. The story on that, that was dope, man. It was like him talking to his good and bad conscience in like three different scenarios. It was like three different people in three different scenarios and whatnot. 
Eminem was tweaking on the first two ones, and especially that one with the 15-year-old girl. I don't rock with that. But that last one, you got to do some of that, dude. He fuck your wife in y'all bed? Come on, man. That was dope. I love that song, though, for sure. We got track number four, Brain Damage. Let's get it. Scalpel. Hair. Sponge. Hair. Wait. He's convulsing. He's convulsing. Oh We're going to have to shock him. Oh, my God. We're going to have to shock him. These are the results of a thousand electric volts. A neck with pulse. Nurse, we're losing him. Check the pulse. A kid who refused to respect the doll. Wore spectacles with tape frames and a freckled nose. A corny looking white boy, scorning and always on me. Cause mm. I was always sick of brawny bullies picking on me. And I might snap when they just like that. I decided to strike back. Flat never. This kid said, It's you and I. Three o'clock sharp this afternoon, you die. I looked at my watch, Shit. it was 120. I already gave you my lunch money. What more to make it worse? My palms were sweaty and I started to shake at first. Something told me, Try to fake a stomach ache at worse. I screamed, uh. Ow, my appendix feel like they get burst. Uh. Teacher, teacher, quick, I need a day. You said it was just Tommy. Oh, I mean it is, but I also got a bum knee. Mr. Uh. Mathers, the fun and games are over. And just with don't you Damn. Know, the after school detention. Now that bully wants to beat your ass, and I'ma let him damage. Ever since the day I was born. Come on, let him. What they used to say I was on. They say I never knew it. Hey, that's fucked up right there. Nurse letting him be his ass, not a teacher being his ass. Man, what school Eminem went to? I heard he went to a lot of schools growing up. Well, that's what his story was. That's crazy. Rap for like five minutes before they finally left. Then I got up and ran to the janitor's storage booth. Kicked the door and loose and ripped out the foreign screws. Got some sharp objects, brooms, and foreign tools. This is for every time you took my orange juice. I stole oh, my shit in the lunchroom and drank my chocolate milk. Every time you tip my tray and it dropped and spilled. I'm getting uh. back, bully. Now once and for good. They getting bullied in school when they was younger and whatnot. He actually said his bully name, D'Angelo Bailey, too, in that first verse. I got a story about him, too. It's going to be real short. One of my OGs, like older homies, like my mama friends and whatnot, actually grew up with D'Angelo Bailey. And that's a true story. He actually used to bully Eminem when they used to go to school with each other. I don't know. It was back in elementary school, middle school. I don't remember, I remember what time period it was. but And he used to be bragging about it like a motherfucker. And I, I think he sued Eminem. For this, I don't know if it was this. It had to have been this song because he said his government name on this shit. And other songs Eminem rapped about him being his bully. That's crazy. But back to my point, like, ain't nobody making songs or stories like this because normally they'll rap about how many people they bullied back in the day. Ain't nobody rapping about them being bullied, shoved in lockers, beat up, and all that. That show you the realness of Eminem, man, for real. Let's go to the next song. Track number five, Paul Skit. And after that, we're going to transition to track number six, If I Had. Hey, what's going on? This is Paul Rosenberg, your faithful attorney at law. Listen, I listened to the rough copy of your album. And, uh, you know, I just got to be honest with you. Uh, can you tone it down a little bit? Because <laughs> there's only so much I can explain. Give me a call. <laughs> Same friends come back around, swearing that they was always down. Backstabbing that. 
that's why I'm smart and off. Neck driving me berserk, I'm tired of using plastic silverware. Tired of working and building square. Tired of not being a millionaire. But if I had a million dollars, I'd buy a damn brewery and turn the planet into alcoholics. If I had a magic wand, I'd make the world suck my dick without a condom on while I'm on the john. If I wish, I would ask for a big enough ass for the whole world to kiss. I'm tired of being white trash, broken, always. He's from Detroit. I'm from there too. So when he rap about, I'm tired of not working at GM. I'm tired of not getting my stuff played on, I think it said WJLB, Hot 107 WJLB. That's the Go Radio Station. I don't think it's up right now, but back in the day, that was a radio station in Detroit that was popping, bro. If you know, you know. So I can easily relate to the stuff that he's saying on this, which made me love this song even more because I understand it. Like, it's kind of harder with the. New York rappers and the LA rappers or the rappers all around other than Michigan. Even though it kind of puts me right there, but I don't really got the experience living there. But this song right here, it's like I'm in his shoes while he rapping, bro, because I grew up where he grew up and whatnot. And so I think that's when he makes his best songs. I said this about uh, the Marshall Mathers LP. When he gets real personal, not trying to be corny when I say that. I don't want you to be real personal on your songs, but I feel like when it comes to Eminem, that's when he makes his best songs, when he shows his real self. When he been making his humorous songs and whatnot, it's still great, but I feel like he at his best when he makes songs like this, when he gets real personal. And, like, real transparent to the people that, like myself, like, came from the struggle or whatnot. He came from where I came from, and he came from the struggle, too, so it's, like, real transparent with me. That's what makes me love the song even more. Let's go to the next song. Dope song, man. I've got track number seven, 97, Bonnie and Clyde. Let's get it. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> I'm like sitting here confused, like what is he doing? Look like you're on the side Just of the road. Just the two of us. Baby, your Just dad that loves you. Us. And I'm always be here for you. No matter what Just happens. The two of us. Through all I Just got in this world. Of us. I would Just never give you up for nothing. Just the two of us. Nobody in this world. Oh, where's mama? She's taking a little nap in the trunk. Oh, that smell. Daddy must have run over a skunk. Now I know what to think. <laughs> okay. All right. Hearing this and looking at the album cover, it's a big ass album cover on my monitor that I'm watching right now. It makes sense, bro. That's his wife in the back of that trunk. <laughs> it just adds to the visualization of the whole thing, though. Nah, I get it. I was wondering at the beginning, like, what the fuck he doing? Whole time he got a wife in his back of his trunk and she dead and whatnot. <laughs> I like to go swimming, but you know your mama. She's one of those type of women that do crazy things, and if she don't get away, she'll throw a fit. Uh. Play with that is toy knife, honey. Let go of it. And don't look so upset. Why you acting bashful? Don't you want to help dad to build a sandcastle? And mama uh. said she wants to show you how far she can float. And don't worry about that little boo boo on her throat. It's just a little scratch. It don't hurt. 
Her was eating dinner while you was sweeping and spilled ketchup on her shirt. Mama's messy, ain't she? We'll let it wash off in the water and me and you can play by ourselves, can't we? Just the two of us. Just the two of us. And when we ride, just the two of us. Just the two of us. I heard in my life, and obviously on the Martian Madness LP, I heard songs about Eminem dissing his baby mama or whatnot. Crazy ass songs. Especially on that Martian Madness LP. That Kim song, that was crazy. But this one right here, he literally telling his own daughter, don't worry about that boo boo on her neck. That just ketchup or something. Come on, man. This is, this is, this is going way too far now. I ain't gonna lie. It's going way too far now. See, honey, there's a place called heaven and a place called hell. Uh -huh. A place called prison and a place called jail. And that is probably on its way to all of them except one. His uh -huh. mama's got a new husband and a stepson. And you don't want a brother, do you? Uh -huh. Maybe when you're old enough to understand a little better, I'll explain it to you. But for now, what you say mama was real, real bad. Was being mean to dad that made him real, real mad. But I still feel sad that I put her on timeout. Sit back in the chair, honey, quit trying to climb out. I told you it's okay, hey, hey. When the baba take a night night, nan nan boo, boo boo ga ga. Her as soon as we get to the water. 97 Bonnie and Clyde, me and my daughter. Just the two of us. Instead of him and his wife, it's him and his daughter. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just you and I, be head with here. Before we pray, we're gonna take mommy for a way to walk along the pier. Before we pray, don't cry, honey, don't get the wrong idea. Mama's too sweepy to hear you screaming in her ear. That's why you can't get it awake. But don't worry, dad have made a nice bed for mommy at the bottom of the lake. Here, you wanna help dad that tie a rope around this rock? We'll tie it to a footsie, then we'll roll her off the dock. Ready now? Here we go, on the count of three. One, two, three. There goes mama splashing in the water. No more fighting with dad. No more restraining order. No more step dad dad. No more noodle and junk. But first, just help dad with two more things out the trunk. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. And when we ride, just the two of us. <laughs> just the two of us. Man, just you and I. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. And when we ride, just the two of us. Just the two. This is the craziest shit I've ever heard in my life, man. Ever. Ever. Remember that. If you ever need me, I'ma always be here for you. If you ever need anything, just ask. That Ev will be right there. Your dad <laughs> loves you. Man, I swear to God, man. I thought that Kim song is the craziest shit. It, it probably is, bro. Just, I ain't gonna, nah, that's, that's the craziest song I've ever heard in my life, bro. This is just a notch before that, bro. He, nah, this one crazy because the way he just telling his daughter. Whole time he trying to tell his daughter his mama just sleeping. Don't worry about that. He said something like, don't worry about that boo boy scratch on her neck. That just catch up or something. Imagine telling your old daughter that, man. Come on, bro. That's stupid. And the fact that he had her help toss her own mama in the fucking sea ocean or whatever. Nah, Kim, Kim, that this is the crazy shit. Kim don't have shit on this song, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Just how nonchalant he sounded on this shit, bro. That Kim shit, he was just wildin', but the how cool, calm, and collected of him talking about murdering his own wife, man. I know she cheated. I know all that, bro. Bro, I'm not trying to justify none of that, but just... This shit on a rap song. Eminem is the wildest rapper I've ever heard in my life, man. But the crazy thing is this song goes. This shit is fire, though. Like, how, how is that possible? Making a song like this, you probably like, man, this shit trash. This song is cold, man. This shit is fire, though. That's the stigma about Eminem. He make the craziest song sound so good, man. I thought that Kim song, bro. I swear to God, I thought that was the craziest song I ever heard. But... Just the fact that he got his daughter involved on this story, man. Kim don't got shit on this song, bro. Let's keep this shit going, man. <laughs> All right, we got track number eight, bitch. This is short. This might be an interlude. So after that, we're going to go to the next song, Role Model. Let's get it. Justin, it's Zoe. Um, Kelly did not have me call. However, I just listened to Eminem in her car. It is the most disgusting thing <laughs> I've ever heard in my entire life. And I seriously want to call his fucking agent and tell them how fucking 
fucking disgusting he is. It like makes me upset. I'm now not. My fucking life. god. <laughs> okay, I'm going to attempt oh, to drown man. myself. You can this try this role model. Me. You can be just like me. The beat on this song is so crazy. Mic check one two. We record. So when I did, she wouldn't want to answer this If you responded back with a battle rap, you wrote for cannabis uh. I strangled you to death and I choked you again And break and beat your ass legally uh. I get too blunted off a funny R. old R. So when I smoke out, I hit the trees harder than Sonny Bono oh, no. So if you want to never get drugs <laughs> That would mean I lie Sonny and get more more than the president does Hillary Clinton tried to slap me and call me a pervert uh. I ripped her fucking tonsils out and fed her serve her My nerves hurt And lay what the song says Smoke weed, take pills, drop out of school I'm dumb enough to walk in a store and steal So I'm dumb enough to ask for a date with Lauren Hill Some people only see that I'm white <laughs> That Lauren Hill lie I stand out like a green hat with an orange bill But I don't get pissed Y'all don't even see through the mist How the fuck can I be white? I don't even exist uh. I get a clean shave, babe Go to a rave, die from an overdose And dig myself up out of my grave My middle finger won't go down How do I wave? And this is how I'm supposed to teach kids how to behave Black women in each room's an OD Now don't you wanna go when we heard a knock at the door, must have been Ron Gold. Jump behind the door, put the orgy on hold. Kill them both and smear blood in a white Bronco. We did my mind I, I got that. I caught that line now. That described the whole OJ Simpson uh, situation, wasn't it? How he caught his wife and the other dude, killed them both and speed off in the Bronco. I caught that line now. I caught that line. I reviewed the song, by the way, for any of those that's one. Play it just the L rhyme, say it that a spray ever saw. Is he rapping on the perspective of Slim Shady? People said Slim Shady is his alter ego and whatnot. And I could tell how different this is compared to when I reviewed the Marshall Mathers LP because Marshall Mathers, this kind of personal too. But on that album, he was real personal about his life, getting people, like, opening up to the people and whatnot. This album, I feel like it's like the persona of Slim Shady, his alter ego. So y'all let me know if I'm wrong or not in the comments if that if that's true. I just have to admire it. And I've always been admiring on my channel the way he be rhyming, bro. His word pattern, like, he matched with that word. You know what I'm saying? Name, name, names, name, names. And then, like, when he rap like that, it is so crazy. It's like he chop up beats, if y'all get what I mean. I, I said this before. He literally chop up beats with his word pattern. Like, making it to, his, like, his own beat and whatnot when he be rhyming like that. Him, MF Doom, and I say Big Pun, too, got three of the most unique rhyme styles ever in history, bro. They literally don't sound nothing like nobody else in the game, bro. Like, you can't make no comparisons to either one of them. Like, whenever I hear one of the three of them rap, I literally, it's like you hearing a whole different beat whenever they be rhyming. You know what I'm saying? Names and names, names, like that type of shit. They literally all three got them type of styles. And before I forget, bro, shout out to Dr. Dre for the beats on this album because they said that he made most of the beats on this project. So shout out to Dr. Dre, man. At track number 10, Lounge Skit. We got a lot of skits on this. And after that, it's a track called My Fault. We're going to transition to that song. Let's get it. Out there. Okay. I never meant to <laughs> give you Ha <laughs> ha 
John's raid with Ron and Dave. And met a new wave, blind babe, with half of her head shaved. A nurse said, wanted the music. Uh. Told me she was going back and they using again. Uh. I said, wait, first try this hallucinogen. It's better than heroin, he ain't the bruise in the gin. Come here, let's go in here. Who's in the den? It's me and Kelly. My bad, uh. let's try another room. I don't trust you. She's <laughs> right, this party is so trash. Oh, dang. I ain't mean for you to eat the whole bag. Huh? I yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> Psychedelics, no mushrooms, no, no, what, what that shit, acid, I'm never doing that shit ever in my life, I'm, I'm not scared of anything, I'm a God-fearing man, but hey, listen, when it comes to psychedelics, hell no, nah. gonna have me running butt naked in the, in the fucking wilderness and all that, talking to trees and all that, I know all of us gotta get reconnected with nature, I understand that, but I'm gonna do that shit naturally, I ain't finna take no mushrooms and have me having a full-on conversation with a fucking tree and shit, how you doing today? My day? Hell no. Nah. Only psychedelic. Because you got to think, weed is kind of a psychedelic too. That's the only thing I'm ever doing that's ever psychedelic. And I don't even smoke weed. I, I'm too paranoid, bro. Don't bring that shit around me. If I ever try psychedelics, bro, it got to be a person I trust, bro. You can't trust niggas like these. They let her take the whole thing. She was supposed to take one little crumb of the mushroom. She took the whole bag, went on nature, ended up drinking light saw. I don't know what happened. She died at the end. This this the reason why. This song the reason why I never do it ever in my life. We got track number 12, Ken Kniff. I swear to God, man. If he on this song sucking dick, I'm I'm skipping it. Automatic, I'm skipping it, bro. Cause y'all seen how I was on the March. I'm skipping it, bro. On everything. Oh, this motherfucker. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm I'm skipping this song, bro. I'm not playing, oh, man. Fuck yeah. Nope, I'm Can't Kniff, I, I, I swear, man. Oh, thank you. I need to make a collect call. What number? Oh, uh, the number is six, two, nine. At the tone, please say your name. Kenneth Kniff. Kenneth Kniff. I, I got his name wrong. Automated piece of shit. Hey there, cock boy. Who's this? This is Ken Kniff. Who? Ken Kniff from Connecticut, little bitch. From <laughs> Connecticut. Yeah, you wanna get Nobody a in Connecticut. You wanna get a hotel room with me? Oh, shower room. Yeah, you want me to lick your ass? Bro, what the fuck? Yeah, 
<laughs> what is this, Kate? Hey, <laughs> you want me to fucking melt in your mouth and not in your hand? Melt in your ass, you little cock boy. <laughs> Yo, shut up, you little bitch. Oh, you think I'm lying, huh? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, Mike Tech. Woo. This next song is called One, Come two, On Everybody. Five, 12, Come On Everybody. Outside this is my dance song. Can outsiders. you hear me? Alright, it goes my like this. Bussy, bussy. My favorite color is red, like the bloodshed. I'm Kurt Cobain's head. When I fought Lauren Hill's tape so her kids could starve. I can't stand I was there, now I'm even. Bro, what's up with all these Lauren Hill lines, man? Y'all gotta put me hip to that shit, bro. What do Eminem got against Lauryn Hill, man? Shout out to Lauryn Hill. I'm supposed to review her album soon, too. Shout out to Lauryn Hill. Damn! I'm in the fourth row, signing autographs to a show. Uh -huh. I just remember that I'm absent-minded. Wait, I mean, I've lost my mind. I can't find it. Uh -huh. I'm freestyling every verse that I spit. Because I don't even remember the words to my shit. Uh -huh. um, we told the doc I need a change in sickness. We gave a girl herpes in exchange for syphilis. Put my LP on your Christmas gift list. You want to get high here, bitch? Just sniff it. Come on, everybody. Screaming, I suck. I'm going on stage and I'm going to sell out. Loud and yell out loud. All y'all get the hell out of me. I'm huh. going out of my gourd. So I took a hammer and nailed my foot to the floorboard of my Ford. Guess I'm just a sick, sick bastard. There's one sandwich short of a picnic basket. One etc. Sandwich short of a video for this shit. I'll probably be dressed up like a mummy with my wristlet. Come on, everybody. Get down tonight. Come on, everybody. He is funny. Sound like Eminem or some just making prank phone calls or whatnot. That is him. Okay, now nah, I get it. <laughs> when I bomb your set, yo, I only cuss to make your mom upset. <laughs> only cuss to make your mom upset. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. This is a good song. This, this is a decent song. Sound familiar to like the Marshall Mathers LP because this sound like that drug battle song off that project, and the one before that, just like that album, was that Ken Kniff skit. It kind of sound different and similar at the same time. Y'all get what I mean? I was about to say this is way more wilder, but that Marshall Mathers LP, that's the craziest album I've ever heard him on. The shit that he said on that shit, man, if that shit came out, or even this shit, if it came out in 2023. Oh man, Eminem would have been exiled from the USA, man. Y'all wouldn't even see Eminem. He'd probably be out in fucking. He'd have been in the North Pole making music and shit. Just the power Eminem got, bro. Turn these wild ass songs with these crazy ass lyrics into enjoyable songs, man. Because I'm enjoying this project. This is a good project, bro. I'm liking this project. Though. I've got track number 14, Rock Bottom. Now, this song I definitely heard before, like, way back in 2018, 19, right before I had my channel. Like, I'll let y'all know if I heard a song or not, but we're going to listen to this in the context of the album. Let's get it. Hey, yo. This song is dedicated to all the happy people. Tightrope without a circus net, uh. popping Percocet. I'm a nervous wreck. I deserve respect, but I work a sweat for this worthless check. I'm about to burst this tech and somebody to reverse this debt. Minimum wage got my adrenaline caged, full of venom and rage. Especially goes down to a last diaper. It's got my ass hyper. I pray that God answers. Maybe I'll ask nicer. Watching yeah. orders while they flossing and they pathfinders. These overnight stars becoming autograph signers. We all long the blow. It's turning bitch like they have a dinus. Uh. We see them dollar signs and let the cast blind us. Morning, your brain 
before she would leave your ass mindless. Uh. Snakes slither in the grass, spineless. That's rock bottom. Snakes makes you mad and you can't. song before i heard this like in 20 it was 2018 on some complete random shit complete random shit like i don't know if it was god the universe that popped this song up in my recommended or like in my playlist some y'all know apple music be like showing songs you haven't heard before i listened to this song like at the time when i was like homeless out of high school had nowhere to stay moving the career to career y'all know how that get and i just completely relate to this song i think i did make a review of this song and i said this is like one of my favorite probably my favorite eminem song when i heard it and hearing this in the context of the album make me love it even more just you gotta understand where you was at when you made this song like i don't know any of y'all went through the same situation down on your last don't have nowhere to stay without a car it's even worse than eminem he had a daughter so he still gotta feed his daughter and she don't got no shoes, so you gonna have the mindset to go rob somebody. I know that's bad and all, but when you don't have nothing, you willing to risk anything to get that bread or whatnot, to make man's eat, to feed your family or whatnot. I went through that same situation throughout most of my life too, so that's why I say this is one of my favorite songs by him, because it's so relatable. That's the difference between this and the Martin Madness LP. With the Martin Madness LP, he rapped about his celebrity status and all the troubles that come with it, family, the the fame and all that. This album was really him down back at literal rock bottom or whatnot. He wrote most of this shit when he was broke and whatnot, so it makes it even more relatable. You know, I kind of think that's a better project, but I kind of relate to this more, if y'all get what I mean. Let's keep this album going. At track number 15, I Just Don't Give a Fuck. We reviewed this about a couple months ago. Let's get it. Whoa, I get your hands in the air and get the clapping on the movie does it. I be the ever on the double chair and check out my man. He goes by the name of Bumper. Slim Shady, brain dead like Jim Brady. I'm an M80. You little like that Kim lady. I'm buzzing, dirty dozen, naughty rotten rhymer. Uh. Person that you play is worse than Morty Schottenheimer. You open, I'm doing acid crack, smack coke, and smoking dope then. My name is Marshall Mathers, I'm an alcoholic. I'm I have a disease and they don't know I'm what to Marshall. call it. Better hide your wallet, cause I'm coming up quick to strip your cash. Uh. Bought a ticket to your concert to come and whip your ass. Bitch, I'm coming out swinging so fast that I make your eye. I'll slit your motherfucking throat worse than Ron Goldman. So when you uh. see me on your block with two blocks, screaming, fuck the world like Tupac. Search to crush a milk bone I'm everlasting 
something. I melt vanilla ice like silicone. I'm ill enough to just straight up this you for no reason. I'm cold and it's no season when it's 20 below freezing. Freak leave you. Smell the boat just crystals. This is lyrical combat. Gentlemen, hold your pistols. But I form like Voltron and blast you with my soda missiles. Slim Shady. Eminem was the old initial. Extortion. Snorting. Supporting abortion. Pathological liar. Blowing shit out of proportion. Delunious. Zanious. Spontaneous. Sporadic. Impulsive thinker. Impulsive drinker. Addict. Half animal. Half man. Dumping your dead body inside of a fucking trash can with more holes in an app. Just don't give a fuck. Talking that shit beyond my back. Dirty back. I'm sick of bitches, sick of nagging bosses, bitching while I'm washing dishes. In school I never said much, too busy having a head rush, doing too much rush, had my face flushed like red blush. Then I went smoking weed again. I'm going up over the curb, driving on the median. Finally made it home, but I don't got the key to get in. So when you see me on your block for two blocks, screaming fuck the world like two pockets, don't give a fuck. Talking that shit behind my back, dirty back. like in his voice this is like super super early on like probably way before this album even dropped or before he even got signed because this i think early on the songs like 97 bonnie and clyde that was made in 1997 so you can tell like by his voice he sounded way more hungry i know that's like kind of common when the artists first come out with their records they sound hungrier don't get me wrong eminem still rapping his ass off to this day but you could tell by his voice the stuff that he talking about where he was at this is real early on. And it's always amazing when you hear an artist's music early on to where they at now. It's kind of crazy. It's amazing sort of sense like how his voice and his rhymes kind of evolved to the to where he at right now. Him, MF Doom, Big Pun, and I'll probably add Nas on that. Got like four unique flows all the time that cannot be duplicated, bro. The way they be flown on any type of beat. Slow, fast any type of beat bro they gonna have their own flow unique or unorthodox especially on this song right here like his flow on this <sighs> come on man we got another skit on this album it's like five skits on this album so far we got a skit called soap then after that it's a song called as the world turns let's get it Skyler montgomery what do you want from me roger I know it was you all along messing around with my dear Veronica. Wait a minute. You hold it right there. Me and that woman love each other. Love? Hmm. What do you know of oh, love? Oh, so, so proper. That's what we mean. We were destined and we're going to be together. Never. Huh. <laughs> As the world turns. Dark and I'm still trying to nail a trailer park bitch. Uh. I had a slut said, what up? 
it's nice to meet ya I like to treat you to a Fago and a slice of pizza But I'm broke as fuck and I don't get paid to the first and next month If you care to join me, I was about to roll this next blunt But I ain't got no weed, no fillies or no papers Plus I'm a rapist and a repeated prison escapist So give me all your money And don't try nothing funny cause you know you're stinking ass Too bad to try to outrun me I went to grab a jumped off with a broken back Thank God I was smoking crack all day and doped up off coke and smack All I wanted to do was rape the bitch and snatch her purse Now I wanna kill her, but so I gotta catch her first Ran through Rally's parking lot and took a shortcut Saw the house he ran up in and shot a fucking porch up Kicked the door down to murder this divorce slut Looked around the room, that's when I seen her bedroom door shut I know you're in there, bitch, I got my gun popped You might as well come out now, she said Come in and sound like naked watching gay porn She said, come here big boy, let's get acquainted I turned around to run, twisted my ankle and sprained it Go, go, get. <laughs> this dude got the wildest stories, bro. Just when I was like, man, I heard the craziest shit I ever heard in my life. He come with another song. You can that Man, oh, fuck. I guess the first story, it was a fat girl that was bullying him. Then he ended up tossing her off the diving board into the pool. And whatever. Second story, he ended up linking up with another fat girl. Went to his, went to her crib. He sprained his ankle. He tried to shoot her. The bullets deflected off. What, what goes on in this man mind, bro? I be thinking like, bro, this man got the wildest mind to make these into songs, bro. The most demented type of nigga, man. He gotta be, man. Eminem. And y'all told me about this song. Y'all actually wanted me to do a song review of this. But I'm glad I listened to this in the album, man. <laughs> even sound even like crazy when you hear the rest of the content on this album, man. <laughs> that is the craziest story I ever heard in the song, man. Especially that second verse. Like all the shit that went on. He sprained his ankle. I have to go back to this song. I don't know if I caught every detail of that story. I have to go back to this song. After I'm done, I'm going back to this song. This is the craziest story I ever heard in a rap song, man. I wonder if Eminem made it his own TV show. I can see someone turn these stories to like a cartoon, like a Dave Chappelle type shit. Let's go to the next song, man. <laughs> we got track number 18. I'm Shady. Let's get it. Who came through with two blocks to terrorize your borough? Huh? Told you how to slap dips and murder your girl. Gave you all the things <laughs> and told you to sit and twirl. So the billion tapes and still scream, fuck, fuck the, the world. world. So come and kill me while my name's hot. And shoot me 25 times in the same spot. Oh. I think I got a generation brainwashed to pop pills and smoke pot till they brains rot. Ah. Stop pops. Spike the punch at the party and drain pop. Ah. Shake my armpits and wore a tank top. Bad boy, I told you that I can't stop. Gotta make them feel you before you make them feel you. So everybody got my shit or I'ma come I and kill you. Mushrooms, I got acid, I got tabs and aspirin tablets. I'm your brother when you need some more weed to set you free. You know me, I'm your friend when you need a minute thing. I'm Sadie. I like happy things. I'm really calm and peaceful. Uh -huh. I like birds, bees, I like people. I like funny things that make me happy and gleeful. Ah. Like when my teacher sucked my weed me in preschool. Gail type, I stab myself. <laughs> hey, I figure out his whole MO. He be saying something so subtle before that. Then he say some wild shit after that line. I like funny things that make me calm and peaceful. Then he say some crazy shit. Like my teacher sucked my weed me in preschool. <laughs> Uh. This is how I am in real life. 
I don't want to just die a normal death. I want to be killed twice. I just want to scare somebody with a gun threat. When they high off the drugs, they haven't even done yet. So bring the money by the night. Cause your wife said this is the biggest night she ever saw in her life. I try to keep it positive and play it cool. Shoot up the playground and tell the kids to stay in school. Better. Tonight I think I'll write my biggest fan of fucking letters. Shout out to Facebook to the kids stand school. Wow. To your demo tape and act like I don't like it. Six months later, you hear your lyrics on my shit. People don't buy shit no more, they just dub it. That's why I'm still broke and had the number one club hit. I do take pills, don't do speed, don't do crack, don't do coke. I do smoke weed, don't do smack. I do do shrooms, do drink beer. I just wanna make a few things clear. My baby mama's not dead, she's still alive and bitching. And I don't have herpes, my dick's just itching. It's not sickness, this for being AIDS infested. I don't know yet. I'm too scared. Even though I'm not saying like Eminem would survive in today's rap, man, he would've been the best, the best of the best, hands down, no, no, no questions asked. I'm saying though, imagine if he would've came out in 2023, man. Everybody in a mama would've been protesting against Eminem, man. Cancel culture will be none. Y'all thought they did the baby wrong, man. Eminem, he was like I said, he would've been rapping in the North Pole. He probably been exiled out the country for the shit that he's saying on this. And on the Martian Mather shit. Man, come on, man. <laughs> Got a question, too, because I'm kind of noticing this. Like, the word role model. And off the role model song and the last song, I'm Shady, um, of him admitting, like, he got all these kids wearing blonde hair, doing drugs, popping pills. Is he acknowledging that he made all these kids doing all, like, he a role model himself? Or he poked fun at the role models back in the day that, if you look in their past or whatnot, they did all these drugs, all these pills, all this bad shit, but still being named as being a role model. Is he making fun of them, these quote-unquote role models, or understanding he's a role model himself? Y'all let me know. Because he mentioned that a lot of people looking up to him. Because he got a big influence. Come on, it's Eminem. I ain't gonna lie. Because it was a trend for a lot of white boys back in the day having blonde dress. Not blonde dress, but blonde hair. Doing drugs. I'm, he probably did, bro. Have a lot of kids doing pills, doing drugs, and all that. Oh, we got two more tracks on this album, man. We got track number 19, Bad Meets Evil featuring Royce of 59. We got Detroit in here, man. Let's get it. I reckon you ain't familiar with these hair parts. You know, there's a story behind that there saloon. Hmm. 20 years ago, two outlaws took this whole town over. Sheriffs couldn't stop them. Quickest damn gunslingers from home. They said the ghosts of bad news still live in that tavern. And on a quiet night, you can still hear the footsteps of Slim Shady and Royce the Five Nine. Mm -hmm. I don't speak, I float in the air wrapped in a sheet. I'm not a real person, I'm a ghost trapped in a beat. I ah. translate when my voice is read through a seismograph and the noise is spread. Picked up and transmitted through Royce's head. Uh. Trap him in his room, possess him in Royce's bed. Till the evilness flows through his blood like poisonous lead. Ah. Till he meets one of his boys is dead. Whose mental capacity holds that of a globe on top of nine other planets. Ah. The cheek of the devil, intelligence level is hellier than treble. Peeking on speakers in the ghetto dismissal i'm not a fair man disgrace the race of an atheist intercepting missiles with my bare hands like a patriot one track side stick of royce man royce is underrated as fuck bro i'm gonna keep this going y'all hear what you just said right there oh man this is going off what? It's like the Nazis and the nation collaborate and attempting to take over the earth. Cause this is what happens when bad meets evil. And we at the trees till we look like Vietnamese people. He's evil and I'm bad like Steve Siegel. Uh. Not the law cause I don't agree with police either. Shit, me neither. We ain't eager to be legal. So please leave me with the keys to your G Beagle. I breathe ether and three lethal amounts while I stab uh. myself in the knee with a diseased needle. Uh. Release and raise on anybody in squeezing range. Cold enough to make the seasons change in the freezing rain. Easy. 
insane. No, I'm not. He's I just want to shoot up and I'm pissed off because I can't find the decent The disaster pain. led to a waiter because I've served any stranger with money. I uh. spent a hundred men until they joint chains while slipping bullets at point blank range like they was punches. Piss on the flag and burn it. Murder you, then come to your funeral service lobby and strangle your body to confirm it. Whipping you. Wow, wow, wow. Royce the Five Fucking Nine is the most underrated rapper ever. Next to Jada Kiss, the most underrated rappers ever. Oh my mama, bruh. Bullets at point blank range like they was punches. Like they was on the black and burn it. Murder you, then come to your funeral service lobby and strangle your body to confirm it. Whipping human ass, throwing like blows, cracking jaws with my fist wrapped in gauze. Dipped in glue and glass, I'm blazing MCs. At the same time, amazing MCs. Somehow, MCs ain't that eyebrow raising to me. From all angles of us, flash your mag loud enough to cast the avalanche and bust the volcanoes are rough. Hello? Oh my hey, God. God. Oh, I used to be alive now. Fat tabs in three swooms, and you won't see me like fat people in steam rooms. When I go to hell and I'm getting ready to leave, I'ma put air in a bag and charge people to breathe. Cause this is what happens when bad meets evil. And we hit the trees, so we look like Vietnamese people. He's evil, and I'm bad like Steve Siegel. Against peaceful, see you in hell for the sequel. We'll be waiting, see you in hell. Wall Street. That's why I love these duo songs, man. Two of the most wanted individuals in the county. Oh my God! Made Jesse James and Billy the Kid look like law-abiding citizens. It's too bad they had to go out the way they did. Hmm. Got shot in the back coming out of that old saloon. Huh. But their spirits still live on to this day. Shh. Wait. Hmm. Y'all hear that? I love Eminem verse on that shit. Royce killed it. Hands down. If you disagree, you got to show me Eminem line that was better than Royce on this shit. I actually got to go back to the song because I didn't catch everything that they said. He said something. Royce said something about atheists converting with the nation. Something like that. It, it was crazy. Royce killed it. I ain't going to lie. That's why I say him and JD Kiss. When I get in their catalogs, bro, I'm like, bro, they the two of the most underrated rappers ever, bro. Man, they deserve all the light, just as the Eminems, the Jay-Zs, the Kanye's, the, the Nas's of the world, man. Come on, man. <laughs> iron sharpen the iron, bro. I love these type of duo posse cuts because it's like one trying to outwork the other. You ain't going to have a better verse than me, bro. I'm going to go hardest than the other person having that same mindset or whatnot. It was a different time back then. Now it's like people just doing free verses nowadays, bro. It's no effort. Like they got, they both had that run on. It's like that Eminem flow I was talking about. Like they got that run on flow type shit. No, and no, and like that type of shit, bro. It makes its own beat. Like I said before, I right, got track number twenty. Still don't give a fuck. I reviewed this about a couple months ago. Last track on the album. Let's get it. A lot of people ask me, "Am I afraid of death?" Hell yeah, I'm afraid of death. I don't want to die yet. A lot of people think that I worship the devil, that I do all types of retarded shit. But if I offended you, you hear the raindrops in the background. Cause I still don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. I'm zoning off of one joint, stopping a limo, hopped in the window, shopping a demo with gunpoint. A lyricist without a clue. What year is this? Fuck a needle, here's a sword, body pierced with this Living the muck, never giving a fuck Give me the keys, I'm drunk, and I've never driven the truck But I smoked dope in the cab I stab you with the sharpest knife I can grab Come back the next week and reopen this gap A killer in shit, runs in the blood Empty and full clips and burying guns in the mud I've calmed down now, I was heavy once in the drugs I could walk around straight for two months with a buzz The fuck down while I'm writing this rhyme Cause I'm probably gonna get struck with lightning this time so all the weed that I've smoked Yo, this blunt's for you To all the people I've offended Yeah, fuck you too To all the friends I used to have Yo, I miss my past But the rest of you assholes can kiss my ass I don't give a fuck, y'all can kiss my ass nah. I walked into a gunfight with a knife to kill you And cut you so fast when your blood spilled it was still blue I hang you till you dangle and chain you with both ankles And pull you apart from both angles I wanna crush your skull till your brain leak out of your veins And bust open like broken water mains So tell the dime not to bother with making another bomb Cause I'm crushing the whole world on my palm Got your girl on my arm and I'm armed with a firearm So big my entire arm's a giant firearm Fuck's here, I'ma try him on I get a master tip with a mouth full of adjectives A brain full of adverbs and a box full of laxatives See that line right there, 
right there give me the chill just the way he be saying that shit. I get a master tip with a mouth full of adjectives, a brain full of adverbs, and a box full of laxatives. Man, what? God help me before I commit some irresponsible acts again. All the weed that I was smoking, this blunt's for you. So why the people I'm with? Yeah, fuck you too. I miss my past, but I still don't give a fuck. Y'all can kiss my ass. I wanted an album so rugged nobody could touch it. Spent a million a track and went over my budget. Oh, now how in the fuck am I supposed to get out of debt? I can't rap anymore. I just murdered the alphabet. Drug sickness got me doing some ball switches. I'm withdrawn from crack so bad my blood itching me. Fuck bitches, give me a fat slut that cooks and does dishes. Man with a click, I'm a posse, kamikaze, strapping a motherfucking bomb across me. From the second I was born, my mama lost me. I'm a cross between Manson and Shamanazi. I don't know why the fuck I'm here in the first place. My worst day on this earth was my first birthday. But uh, brain damage, fuck, I was born during the earthquake. For all the weed that I smoke, yeah, it's born to me. To all the people I've offended, yeah, fuck you too. To all the friends I used to have, Yo, I miss my past. But the rest of you assholes can kiss my ass. To all the drugs that I've done, Yo, I'm still going to. To all the people I've offended, yeah, fuck you too. So every time I reminisce, I miss my past. But I still don't give a fuck, y'all can kiss my ass. Fucking kiss my ass! Oh yeah. Dope album. Dope album. Dope album. Woo! Oh man. Dope album. Dope album. And all the hype I heard about this project and the Martian Magic LP. They both lived up to it, man. They both lived up to it, man. That was a Slim Shady LP by Eminem, man. I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts. Great album, dope, dope album, dope, cohesive, crazy ass album. But it all flowed together so well, man, with the skits, the stories on this, the wild stories, even the personal tracks, man. I think that's the difference between this and the Martian Mads LP. They both kind of sound similar, but I feel like this one, but this was made when he was really broke, still hungry or whatnot. Martian Mads LP was the perspective of a man who made it, but still going through problems with fans, family, dealing with success or whatnot. The price is fame. This one, this is literally made when he was like probably homeless, broke, still on the come up or whatnot, probably before he even got signed. Even though I feel like Martian Magic LP is a better project than this, I still kind of relate to this project a little bit more. The lyrics, y'all know the lyrics are gonna be there, the flow gonna be there, it's Eminem. He always gonna show up with them too. So with the lyrics and flows, of course it's gonna be amazing. The beats on this slapping all over the stories the personal stories that's one thing this is the funniest album i ever heard in my life especially on that song as the world turns i'm shady the bonnie and clyde song this is the funniest album i ever heard in my life man i never heard of, i'm more humorous which is crazy because tomorrow i'm supposed to be recording a reaction to the old dirty bastard album y'all say that is the funniest album ever this is like a taste before i get the whole thing that's that's fucking crazy, man. This is the funniest. So far, this is the funniest album I ever heard in my life, man. Till I react to the ODB album. And no matter how funny these stories was, I gotta admire the storyteller on this project. No matter how wild and how funny, crazy, wild, insane these stories was, just admire like how descriptive he was on these shits, man. It's something to admire, man, for real. Hope y'all enjoyed this, man. Like, subscribe if y'all know, man. And I know... I know all over the comments since I reviewed the Martian Madness and this album, I know I'm going to get a lot of requests for the Eminem show. And I'm going to let y'all know this right now. And I explained this on the live stream. I heard that project before. Y'all can get a review, but y'all ain't going to get like a first time hearing. Long story short, I went on a road trip like back in 20, crazy enough, it was back in 2018 too. That album popped up uh, in my recommended. I listened to the whole thing, man. And I'll let y'all know if I heard an album or a song before, bro. Just to, you know what I'm saying? Not a lot of y'all, bro. I heard that project before. So that's to get that out the way because I know a lot of people like, oh my, Eminem show, Eminem show. I heard that album before. But all his other old shit, I can review. So send it down below. And as I said, my next album review will be Old Dirty Bastard, Return to the 36 Chambers, man. Shout out to the legend Eminem for these projects, man. Keep doing what you're doing, M, man. If you're watching this, man, we love you. Peace and love to y'all, man. It's your boy Amai, man. I'm out.